As of last week's episode, we still don't have a job, which isn't great considering we're trying to save $15,000 to make it to Alaska this summer, and we're not even halfway there. We're trying to go negotiate a higher yes. rate, like if they really want us. But this week, we finally understand why we turned down those other jobs, and as we make our way across Texas with a rescue pup, Trinity, and rabbit, Cody, we find ourselves racing against the clock due to an unexpected delay that threw off our entire travel day. I told him, I was like, when this stuff happens, when you make these meetings, tell me, because I'm the only one that keeps the calendar in this family. We don't have a gate yet. Checkout is at noon. It's 10 in the morning. And we've had a couple calls like of gates to go to, but they just didn't feel right. So Joseph is actually going to call someone this morning. It's a brand new company. Well, they've been uh, like probably an brand actual new company. Brand new to us. We haven't worked with them before. We're gonna see, do we need to stay another night? Do we need to check out? And we also have a vet appointment for this know. one. I don't know if you can it's see here. <laughs> we have a vet appointment for her at three o'clock because she got into some ticks. Three tick bites. So we're gonna get them checked out yeah, and the going we're gonna on. see if since we have her there, if the vet can tell us whether or not she's pregnant. We don't We're we, a little nervous <laughs> at this point. We go back and forth between is that a sign of pregnancy? Is that a sign of No, we don't think so. Uh, what would we do that with could puppies? change everything here you get a puppy you get a puppy everyone gets puppies <laughs> but let's uh, hope that's not the case good morning isaiah it's joe cummings how are you yep just making sure nobody's coming out trying to steal anything because you know it's gonna be very remote this sounds exactly oh, like God. what we're looking for i'm just like we were we were waiting for the perfect <laughs> we job we believe in god and we believe god's mm -hmm. hand was in this so we almost said yes to a job that was mm -hmm. a fracking job and we were on the fence and we were about to say yes and a couple parked next to us who's done gate guarding before and we just got talking to them and they started telling us about frack jobs we said no and we were both staring in the mm -hmm. face of like extending our stay here and like we're just the right job wasn't coming along. So then yesterday, last night, I found SNS guarding and it sounded like exactly what we were looking for. So I emailed him. He's like, call us at 10 the next day. And we got the perfect job. So yeah, I called him and he's like, we think we have a job that you would love. It's up here in North Texas, but you're only working at night during the day we have it free. Now, obviously I'm gonna to have to sleep, but Kaylin doesn't have to work. I'm gonna be able to watch the stuff at night while also being able to take some time doing video editing. And we can actually leave during the day and go on a date. Yes, like we're not stuck there 24 seven. And oh, we haven't told you the best part. It pays the same. Yeah, two, pays two, the same $200 a day. And he said like a month, month and a half, yeah, maybe longer. Maybe longer, these guys might move. And if we and work we out go with, with them, them, we might go with them. So this is exactly exactly yeah. what we needed so i think we're gonna stay here one more night yes because we, we have the vet appointment vet appointment and then two we'll travel days two travel days try to find a walmart or something yeah. in between okay. yay it's happening <laughs> we have work <laughs> hold up we have another alaska update for you we have made progress the first edition came in a completely unexpected way have to say thank you to Deanna and Gary, James and Ann. Your super thanks, just incredible. $145 straight into our Alaska fund. I really don't have a better way of saying it other than thank you. Plus, we also got our, oh. <laughs> Trinity, Trinity's jumping <laughs> We also got our final paycheck from our gate guarding gig. So for 12 days of work, 24 seven work, we got $2,400 and so we're taking a thousand of that, putting it into our Alaska fund, bringing us up to $3,245, which is almost a quarter of the way there. Yeah, almost a quarter. And <laughs> plus we have this one now too. Yeah. <laughs> You can do it. Come on. Here you go. Ooh. Good job. Oh, it's right here. Oh, that's tiny. It is tiny. It had good reviews though. And it is significantly easier to find a vet for a dog than it is for a rabbit. <laughs> Her face. All right. Well, there's another two days of work down. <laughs> I know. With what 
that we spent because well I wanted to run a blood test just to make oh, sure yeah. we didn't have the tick-borne diseases. So they check for heartworm too. Yeah, let me get get buckled. Let me get buckled before you peel out of here. Oh yes, because that's what I do in this truck. <laughs> so we got all those tested. It's super nice in there, by the way. And she was negative on all the important things. No heartworm. Yeah, nothing. So we got, they gave us some, well, they, gave. they didn't give us, <laughs> they had to pay for it. Some Symperica Trio. So it's supposed to cover like everything, ticks, heartworm, Please. other parasites, everything. And it's a once a month and we got a six month supply for that. He was for sure 100% certain that she is not spayed. And so since we know she's not spayed and we're not sure if she's pregnant, if you want a Trinity puppy, let us know in the comments because if she has puppies, we can't keep eight or nine puppies. So let us know in the comments if you want a Trinity puppy. And if it turns out she's pregnant, we're calling you first. Trinity, you did so good in there. So vet appointment down. We're still slightly up in the air because the guy with the gate guarding company said he was gonna confirm with us at the end of the day. He said everything was looking great, like we were good to go, but he hasn't gotten back. So there's still a tiny chance that we're not going anywhere tomorrow. And I'm a little nervous to that fact, but I've got a lot of stuff out. So I'm gonna take care of all of that, get the motorcycle back on the truck, and we will hopefully be headed out tomorrow. Meanwhile, I'm going to take Trinity for a run. You ready to go for a run? Because she like got super hyper after the vet appointment. So we're gonna go run off some of that energy for you. How's that feel, huh? Come on, let's go, let's go. I've gotten to the point where I can let her off her leash in some areas because she usually like will run past me and then wait for me to catch up and to run past again. So, so far she's been really good with it. Here she goes. Come on, keep up. Come on, let's go. Good morning. We're on our morning, our new morning routine of walking the dog, but we are trying our best to make sure that Trinity is a good RV dog, because here we are, we're trying to get her to go for to the bathroom and uh, you know, we come to the dump station because this seems like the appropriate place to do it. There we go, something would have, that would have biodegraded naturally over the course of a few weeks, now stuck forever in a plastic bag. All right. I don't think I've shared anything with you about the state park yet. So we are at Goliad State Park. I believe we stayed here a total of 10 days. It was only $20 a night for electric hookup here in this beautiful looking parking lot, which is kind of weird. Just that I think it may have been a parking lot and picnic area before, and then maybe the state needed money. And so they decided to turn it into a partial hookup RV spot. There is another section with full hookups in this park. It's $25 a night, which I know is not that much more for full hookups but we didn't know how long we'd be staying and $5 a night extra, it can add up. They do have a dump station, which is where Joseph has been taking our portable tank like every few days so I can have some nice long showers, which is so sweet of him. We also, I guess I'm purposely putting dumpsters in the background because we have the hardest time finding dumpsters. I guess most campgrounds have them, but when we're boondocking, which is most of the time, it's so hard to find trash. You know, a couple videos ago, our issues with that. Oh, I see the dumpster. I'm gonna say that because there are no signs saying we can't dump, that it's okay to dump here. And then of course, what we have been really enjoying here are the different trails that, so there is like an actual trail through the woods that I've been running on, Joseph's been running on, and then we've been taking Trinity for walks on a bike trail, and then you have the beautiful mission to be able to explore as well. We are gonna try for the first time to put the dog and the rabbit in here. The first travel day that we had Trinity, I had Cody up front. They've been doing so well. We're not gonna leave them alone together, but I think we can try having them be in the back seat. So we'll see. I'm sorry, but this is just funny. <laughs> this is the first time Trinity has been inside while we are preparing for travel day and the slides were kind of freaking her out. 
So I opened the door and I had stuff in my hands and she slipped out and ran down the trail. Why did you run away? <sighs> Stinking dog. Oh, look at the muddy paws. Oh, well that's why we had a towel down there, but she doesn't want to lay on the towel. You ready? Yeah. Ready for the doggo in your face? I was actually talking to Cody, but oh. are you ready? <laughs> okay, Trinity, thank you for laying down. I need you to be really good. Nope, that's getting up. I need you to be really good with the bun buns, okay? Cody's gonna go down here and we're gonna leave him alone. We're not gonna like get up in his grill. Okay, can I trust you? I never ever thought I would have a dog and a rabbit at the same time. It's just so weird, but it's working. That's cute. Good girl, be nice. Good girl, gentle. Good girl. We are headed to West Texas. Goodbye, Goliad. Between work camping jobs, complete. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't have this, <laughs> the same effect. Make sure you stay watching because we are not staying at a Walmart tonight. We're staying at the most gorgeous rest area I think we've ever stayed at. We don't usually stay at rest areas, but this one, you're allowed to overnight camp. It's got a gorgeous view. We actually stayed there, I think we were thinking like two years ago, so it'll be fun to go back to it and we'll get to show you guys what it looks like. All I have to say is be grateful these videos are not scratch and sniff because we are still switching her food over and yeah, she still, she farts a lot, a lot. I'm the editor and I always make it look like Kaylin sleeps all the time in the videos. She doesn't always sleep all the time. Sometimes she does things like meal planning. I actually have a lot of things to work on today. There will be no sleeping, only sleeping. Oh really? There's gonna, this one. There's gonna be no, no sleeping. No sleeping. A podcast client of mine sent me a text message saying, hey, do you remember that meeting at 2 p.m. Eastern that we're doing today? Um, I did not remember that meeting. I told him, I was like, when this stuff happens, when you make these meetings, tell me, because I'm the only one that keeps the calendar in this family. But this is going to throw a monkey wrench because I don't know how long this meeting is going to be, and we have only made it 70 miles of the, 200, of the 330 that we have to go today. We have to get there before dark. So... And like stopping at a quick stop gas station for a work meeting. For a work meeting. <laughs> Howdy, everybody. I can hear you. Awesome. Well, Joseph is in the RV with his meeting. I opted to stay in the truck with the fur babies, and I'm going to try to get some work done. Although, I don't know with all these semis coming through, but hopefully, it doesn't take more than an hour. Because otherwise, if we get to the place we're staying at tonight after dark, then I have to show you guys tomorrow morning what it actually looks like, which I guess you're watching the video anyway. So it really doesn't matter whether we show you tonight or tomorrow, you're gonna see it. It was funny in the meeting, one of the other participants in the meeting is a fellow RVer. And so half of the meeting was made up of people sitting in their RVs. Uh, being professional and the, the client that I'm working with was actually in a Starbucks parking lot on her phone for the meeting It's just funny to me how mobile the world has become that we do these super important business meetings Literally for me. It was from a quick trip parking lot in my army This doesn't help the situation nope not at all. I look for a Walmart. Wouldn't hurt. Check Campendium. Okay. See what we can find. The sun is setting. The landscape is changing. And we have 106 miles to go. <laughs> Some people might not understand why I'm paranoid about driving after dark. It's because of that. That motorcycle covers my headlights a good 
it, yes, the headlights shine through, this one shines through the front tire, this one shines through the back tire, but it is nowhere near having like full coverage. So I have two things. Number one, my visibility is cut down a little bit, so I have to drive a little slower. Number two, I don't even know if it's legal. So yeah, there's that. The motorcycle on the front of the truck is legal, just to be clear, but we don't know how legal it is to drive with limited visibility and the head headlights with something blocking the front of the truck. Look how absolutely beautiful this place is. Okay, I know it's pitch black. I know you can't see a thing. I promise you, this is pretty. I will show you in the morning. Good morning. I have a feeling that we may have hyped up this overlook a little too much, especially because it's cloudy and not sunny outside. But just keep in mind, this is not a crappy Walmart parking lot. Look at that. She sat. Look at that She's tail learning. going. It's a little foggy, but look at this. This is the landscape that we have missed. If we had been here by sunset last night, because this is west, so if we had gotten here before sunset, it would have been a beautiful, beautiful view. The sunset last night was really pretty. It was. We don't have super fancy mics, so I have to yell over the wind but this is called Fort Lancaster Scenic Site, and it's probably got, I would say you could fit three big rigs, three or four big rigs in here. Um, it's off the highway a little bit, so you're not hearing all that road noise, picnic areas. It's really a good spot to do an overnight. The only iffy thing is if this place is crowded, it's very hard to find a spot to turn around, especially if you're bigger, but I think we can squeeze through that little section and do a big loop and get out of here. But we can't get out of here yet because you, what do we meet him at three? So yeah, the, we haven't updated them, have we? We have not. So they called and we're good to go. It looks like we're going to be staying on site, which is what we wanted most of all, but they're not gonna be able to get to the town we're headed to until three o'clock this afternoon. Oh, oh Carol, <laughs> Trinity, you can't go behind me like that. But we get a nice, leisurely, cloudy morning. <laughs> she has certainly she made our lives more interesting. <laughs> if you've been with us for a while, you know I've got a pinhole leak in this back passenger side tire. I have changed my airing up technique from a full-size compressor that was falling apart to this uh, hyper tough compressor that I picked up from Walmart. Jury's still out on to whether or not this is good. It worked really great the first few times I used it. And since then, it's been a little iffy and I've only used it probably, I don't know, six, eight times. As of right now though, it's still, it's still kicking and still filling my tire. Ready for day two? You ready for day two? You ready for day two? It's better than our four day trek from North Dakota to, what was it, Arkansas? Yeah. We don't have to go too far today. 175 miles. We do have a fun little downhill though. Ooh, start. we get to go this way. Quick stop for gas. We're actually making really good time as I'm driving. I'm really thinking about the fact that uh, we're still really flying by the seat of our pants for this whole gate guarding thing. One second. We haven't signed a contract or anything. Everything seems to be on the up and up. This guy uh, is with a reputable company. The, he's bringing the paperwork for us to sign, but the other contracts that we've worked with, we actually e-signed and everything. So we actually had signed everything before we got there. So in this case, we're driving 500 miles and it literally could be taken out from under us because we have no contract. But uh, yeah, I guess it's all part of the living and learning. Hopefully we don't live and learn the hard way. Meanwhile, Kaylin, like I, I look back in and Kaylin's- I'm back with the animal. She is in her happy place. It would not shock me in the slightest if at some point in the future I'm driving and no one's in the front seat and Kaylin's with the animals in the back seat. Just saying, would not shock me.
we're really not sure when they are going to get like a generator out there or water or sewer. So we wanted to just get, let me see if I can get up here. Cause I never put down the stairs cause I'm too lazy. So we want to stock up on our propane, just top things off just to make sure that we have that because if you don't know, we use propane for a lot of things. The most common place is our heat. We have our fridge, which is like a combo electric propane fridge. We then of course need it to cook. And then the last one is to take hot showers, brush our teeth, wash dishes, have hot water. These drawers on my desk always pop out. They don't, I guess they're leaving a little bit of marks, but I mean, I need to repaint this anyway, but it's so annoying. I don't know how to keep them from popping out. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I almost just stepped out of this. I almost just stepped right out. jumped up on the seat. I think he's getting tired of all the bumps. We got seven miles more. Seven miles more, you two. If you've just bought an RV and you need to give it the classic shakedown test, then I cannot think of a better recommendation than to go to West Texas and get a gate guarding gig that's eight miles up one of these roads. Update. He's got a generator, nice looking generator with nice looking lights. So we'll have plenty of light on the situation and a giant tank of water, but no waste tank. So we've got two of the three supplies we need, but probably the most important supply is still up in the air. I would like to point out that we're not eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> this looks more like a lunch than a dinner, but we're really just like trying to throw something together at this point. I'm going to bed. It's kind of <laughs> like we're back at the beet harvest. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, but all right, I'm gonna sleep. I'll let you sleep in the morning. So I have another challenge ahead of me. Really haven't done much editing of this week's video and it is currently Wednesday night. In fact, we're two hours away from Thursday. Publish time is 4 p.m. on Friday. It is fair to say I have never completed one video in two days. So my plan is while we're here guarding this, I'm planning on making occasional rounds. Uh, it's not something they asked me to do. My back window sees everything, but my thought process is if I make regular rounds at irregular intervals, so if somebody is watching me, they don't know what my next move is gonna be. The important thing to remember, Jim, we always have what is called the element of surprise. Literally, just a quick round, then back to work. Joseph is so tired. And understandably so. I mean, we thought we were gonna get here in time for him to take like at least a three hour nap before his shift and that just didn't work out with everything. So hopefully he'll get a full eight hours tonight and be ready for tonight's shift. It's almost three o'clock. And I did something this morning that I haven't done in, I'm not sure exactly how long, and that is I did not get up to an alarm. I had an alarm set for 3.30. I woke up at two, couldn't fall back asleep. I feel well rested, which is amazing. I don't think I ever felt well rested on our last gate guarding job. So feeling well rested after day one is ah, fantastic. I'm gonna make some lunch uh, and then 
Kaylin is going to go over the video that I edited last night. And this is the moment of truth. No pressure, no pressure yeah, on you. I feel like it has to be perfect. <laughs> no, no, this is, this is the moment when I find out whether or not I really have a shot at me meeting my deadline of four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. I only have... That's, two, three, that's four, a really five, good list. Five things. It's not front and back, so that's no. a really good list. She has decided, as the prissy little pup that she is, that she needs grass to pee on. And out here, there is not a lot of it. So we found one little patch. She doesn't even hear poop on it, but she just sniffs it, and it tells her that this is the area to go do her business. So it's kind of funny. There it is. There's the little patch. Oh, I won't show you that. <laughs> Joseph and we are a full-time RV couple who have been on the road for almost five years. Doing the final touches. He's working so hard on this. Ready for the final watch through? Let's do it. Hey, we're Kaylin and Joseph and we have been traveling. The final watch through has been done. It is 12.04 and now it all comes down to whether or not Starlink will be fast enough to upload the video. Well, we for sure missed our deadline. The sun is starting to set, as you can see, streaming through the windows. I am hopeful that YouTube won't ding us too much for not posting at like the time that YouTube said is the best time to post. I know Joseph is disappointed, but he should be so proud of himself. I know I am because he worked really, really hard on this video. I think it's one of our best. And even if it didn't get up at the right time, I think the most important thing is that we got it up at all. So hopefully he's not too sad when he wakes up. What are we looking at? Still 70? 78%. How are you feeling? Discouraged, but... I mean, it is what it is. I figured I would close this video out with a few quick updates. Update number one, I am starting to finally get into my sleep rhythm groove here. So tonight will be night four. Oh, hey, there's a rainbow. And you can, the camera's picking it up. It's so pretty, except for the telephone pole. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, that's update number one, back on my sleep schedule. Update number two, our video is actually performing really well. So either time doesn't matter or we're posting at the wrong time. It's exciting to see this channel grow. So we just really thank you guys for watching and subscribing and following along because it was an unexpected surprise that in addition to work camping, we're able to save for Alaska by earning some from YouTube as well. And I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes of like how we work on yep. videos and stuff. Yeah, and I have one third update and that is a quick review. We've been here doing this work camping gig for three days, what our initial thoughts are. So this site, Kaylin hasn't had to work, which has been fantastic that she can work on her stuff during the day. At night, I'm just doing my own thing, just sitting at the picture window there, looking at the stuff, making sure nobody's messing with it. Honestly, like, it's the best gig ever. I want it to last until we go to Alaska, because if it does, this is just perfect. So that's it for us this week. We are going to take the trek down the eight miles into town. We'll see how long it takes us this time to do some laundry, to stock up on groceries and hope that we don't have to go for another week. So again, thank you guys for watching and following along and we'll see you in the next video.